Hello everybody, hope that you're doing well and welcome to this morning's update that I got for you. Uh, we're just going to be going over, well, how yesterday played out in the end, obviously coming up to around a popular channel and uh, some what really what I'm looking forward to today when it comes to the Bitcoin chart. <clears throat> I am in an intraday long position at the moment, so I'm in, I'm in, I've taken a day trade long and um, that's primarily because I see a bit of well, I see support holding in the Bitcoin chart, as well as we know the correlation that remains with the ES, that, that remains strong. And also the GC. Do you see the GC? Like, this was so nice. <laughs> this is obviously really strong this morning, but the way that it bounced off of that weekly and the CC confluence. And then from there, it like went really strong into the CC and weekly, really strong support you take off. Uh, so that's great to see. And also the, G, uh, the ES really, really strong. But Bitcoin itself... Uh, to be honest, um, obviously you had that support, key support, 10,520. That was your key horizontal support level. And obviously yesterday in the end, we did back test that, which was obviously the point of control, uh, the point of control, and also your CC. So you had like three or four different confluences there. Obviously you got your acceptance back into previous day value area low, you got through the VWAP, you got through 10,650, and then you went actually straight through everything all the way up to the top of your channel, um, which we're obviously referring to as that is the, this weekly level. And from this morning, the reason why I got into a long position, um, obviously I was aware of the, this is, this is quite amazing. So obviously I was aware of the single prints that you had at 10,000, about it was around 10,829. Uh, you had the liquidations and then you also started your single prints. Okay. And you can see this within the template. Uh, obviously, this is uh, the following day, so it doesn't extend it into the next day, but you can see that this highlighted box. Okay. And then what I saw was when you look at it like this, okay, and I know it's a bit, all of this, because it makes a new day, this all gets in the way. You can see that that's the, that's the same point that I'm looking at on this chart. And you see the first... Uh, you know, the liquidation starting as well as the single print rows, and then you bounce off of the single print rows, um, <clears throat> which is obviously considered pretty bullish. So that for me, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I always, I always have a froggy throat in the morning. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> that was, that was the primary reason why I took this long. Um, and then from this long position, well, I'm like, I'd like to actually see it take, uh, obviously break out of this a little bit, go above uh, $11,000. You do have this local, obviously, uh, downtrend channel at the moment, which is still in play. Um, but with this strength in the other markets, I, I would I would ultimately like to see this go back above. You know, it doesn't necessarily happen, have to happen now. It can happen a little bit later. But I'd like to see this break out and go towards 11000 through 11000 if possible. Um because I just obviously you got a few different perspectives. But this perspective, this long is from a day trade, and just from the day trade, I'm expecting us to yeah hit around eleven thousand at least. Uh, obviously, I think you got the few key levels. Or you, obviously, you got the you got the weekly, which is still in play. You got um you got the eleven thousand psychological itself, and then if you remember a few days back, we obviously as well have the eleven thousand and eighty, which in my opinion was the bigger level. So the eleven thousand and eighty. Coming in here, and then I believe if you get through eleven thousand and eighty, I see no reason actually why why you cannot come and challenge levels such as eleven thousand three hundred and sixty, eleven thousand seven hundred. If you if you get the acceptance back above eleven thousand, let's just say eleven thousand. Well, obviously your bigger level there, eleven eleven three sixty, but. I feel as if you can kind of say if it gets above your levels such as 11,100 because then you're above that 11,080 level there's absolutely no reason why you would not be expecting levels such as 11,700 next and that would be really really bullish or you could then even be if you get acceptance above that naked point of control be expecting I would see no reason if this is the case again this is a big ifs you need to get through these resistances but if you claim that then you have no reason why you can't really get to like uh well, levels, levels such as 13,000 plus, 11, uh, yeah, 13,000. There's no reason why you can't expect that because you'd have cleared your local resistance. You'd have gone into uh, through your naked point of controls, which are, you know, big resistances. You obviously got that, that last weekly. 
you get through that, yeah, I would say there's no reason why you cannot be expecting, uh, well, at least breaking that high, coming up to around thirteen, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. But again, that that's so far, that's so far off. <laughs> I'm obviously not trading for that with this day trade, but it's just something to bear in mind. And uh, why I also like this day trade is because I had a stop loss, like invalidation straight away of literally the low of this wick. Uh, I feel that this is the important low. Firstly, it bounced off the single prints. Secondly, it was a back test of the of the triangle. So obviously, this long term time frame triangle that we were looking at, it has actually broken out of that triangle and back tested it with pretty, um, you know, pretty perfect. You got a perfect back test of the triangle as well. So this is where you see like support lining up with confluence. Where so you see diff different tools lining up for the for the same thing. Um, yeah, you have the back test of the channel. You had the single prints. You had the liquidation runs, and so it all come together for this. So that's why I feel that this is a pretty important support because if you lose it, then you're back inside of the triangle, uh, which is obviously a lot more bearish. But as it stands, you've bounced off the support. You are still making lower lower highs, so obviously you could be you can be fairly neutral. I'm taking a bit of a bit of an aggressive long position, let's say. Um, but I'm happy with this because I know where I'm wrong, <laughs> and I know where I'd like to see it come up to. So <clears throat> that's the reasonings for the for the day trade. Um, and we'll have to see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm pretty content with the 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 gold. I'm very 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 content with how that went. Obviously, I'm still in link, by the way. So if you're wondering, I'm, I am still in link. This is obviously the one from the Champions live stream that I gave last Sunday. Still in this long position. Um, so that's that's going well. The only alt I'm in at the moment. Um, that's fine. I don't I don't need to be in loads of alts. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's my perspective on the day trades today. Uh, if you lose that support, well. That's obviously pretty bearish in my opinion. You're back inside of the triangle. And yeah, that's when you start to get those bigger, bigger, bigger trades where you would have still imagine 10,650 as support. It's like you can't forget about 10,650. Uh, 10,650 is, is the support level. But ultimately, if this is a big fake out of the triangle, then you can really be imagining levels coming in such as 10,250 um, or lower. You'd have taken quite a lot of liquidity at the high. So you'd come down and really expect the lows, wouldn't you say? So, 10, 10 to 50 would be your next level, obviously. And then that is still ultimately the range as well. But that's more if you if you lose this current support. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <clears throat> Break the current high, you're looking for around 10, 11,000. Well, first, you just... It, I don't know why, but, but this these psychological numbers just come into play. So you got 11,000 psychological. But really, you got the 11,080 bigger level. Break that. I think that's really, 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 really bullish, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> alternatively, you do not break any of these resistances. Um, we lose support, and again, not just by our wick, but you actually lose the support. And then I think you got ten six fifty, but, but but really, I would be expecting a, a move down to ten thousand two hundred because that for me would be really bearish. Um, there you go. So that's uh, my <laughs> kind of my thoughts. Uh, see if there's any questions. No questions. No, my 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 throat is a lot better, but just croaky in the mornings. <clears throat> not it's not like it's painful anymore just the, just the morning <laughs> croakiness <laughs> um so yeah we have no questions so in that um i guess everybody that means everybody understands what i'm doing on the day trades obviously my swing trade is still the same perspective but from a day trade i just see that little bit of opportunity so and i also just like the invalidation it's, it's very easily defined but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the analysis. As always, if there's anything else that I can think of, I will post it inside of the group um, and I'll let you know if, if anything changes throughout the day. Um, but as it stands right now at 10 a.m., that's, that's the trade I'm in and that's what I'm going to be going for today. So um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the chat. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Being the leader of the group, being the teacher, the professor, so to speak, I need to be a voice of reason. I cannot get carried away on moves. I cannot become overexcited. I have to stay calm and collected, monitoring the charts and giving my opinion. That's why 11.38 today, while there were a few conflicting signs, I was saying to my team, 
I'm still feeling good for higher prices here. She's still in my day trade long and all the markets are looking strong. So 11.38 today, as you can see, 11.38 here on the chart was on this candle. And that was three minutes before a really big move to the upside. <laughs> beautiful to see. Really beautiful to see. 11.41, getting the move up to $11,102. So perfect indeed. Really, really, really perfect. That's obviously off the back of uh, back testing the channel continuation to the upside even getting the exact level of this with those single prints uh, that 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 was some technical analysis that not not many people are even going to understand so that's the type of value that you get within the champions group i truly feel that the value is is so high uh on top of that uh, you know getting the updates in the day how i'm trading obviously this was off of a trading update this morning uh which i gave to all the contenders and all of the champions that's where we were uh, about real, real make, make... and uh, obviously as we move on we got the we got the back test the reclaim of the levels really 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 good there's the continuation to the upside running into those important resistances that you see at the moment uh, but what i always want to do is i want to move forwards and increase the value what people are getting i want people to love and i have recognized off of comments that are inside of the group that some people are still struggling putting all of the tools together you know they've they've watched the videos they've taken the education but they still struggle putting their money on the line they they still don't have the confidence they still are not making money consistently i was racking my brain so you know i don't want to see this i want to see people come into the group and make money trading you know that's the aim of the game but obviously there's there's a barrier of some people are able to do it but there are still a lot of people struggling and that pains me so what i want to do is well i understand the problem i really think i can understand the problem that it is confusing maybe me being a scalp trader swing trader and so what i want to do is do swing trading this is the easiest form of, of of trading and on top of that help the people that are confused well i've, I've laid it out here i think many people are in the same problem uh, what I notice is that many have studied the materials, but they don't seem to be making money consistently. And I put this down to the confusion on all the tools. Maybe they have too many tools now and they don't understand how to use the tools together in a real trading setup. They are struggling making targets, having the correct stop loss placement, etc. I think it's a, a lack of confidence and, and just a bit of confusion when it comes to how do I actually take the trade? Uh, too many people are still sat on the sidelines. And so with this series, I've, I've, I've understood the problem and I think I've created a solution to the problem. And that is where I am going to be live trading with a new account so people can actually see me entering the trade, discussing the entry, why I've entered there, using the tools. I'll discuss why I'm placing my stop loss here, why I'm placing my target here. So you get to see the exact trade that I'm taking here on Bitcoin. I just think that that is going to help the people that are struggling and i want to get everybody up to the level you know uh, as you know a, a higher percentage of the group are doing well but there's also a percentage of the group that are struggling and i want to get the people struggling up to the level so they can be enjoying it as everybody else so um yeah that that's the new and uh, like a thing that we're adding in here for even more value. This is obviously for the champions level. So I will be doing the live trading with a new account, going through those swing trades to really help out the people that are still struggling, even after studying the, the educational content. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, and I suppose, yeah, on top of the value that you get every day with the updates that we give, uh, you know, in the morning, then on top of that, the updates that you get throughout the day obviously well you can look at link as well from from this was an entry that i gave on the champions live stream uh last week where i literally gave entry targets stop losses and from here the entry we're now up over 10 percent i mean this is just going this is going well bitcoin's going well um but i still you know that's yeah that's the thing that's why i want to end this with i do still understand that there are people struggling so what can i do to help the people still struggling let's add even more value in and start live trading on on stream going through the entries the exits the stop losses and not just that but why 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 am i doing this so at the end of the day people can learn understand and at the end of the day start to trade on their own with confidence i hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough today 
I've gone through those levels, the update from this morning, and, uh, and maybe I'll catch you in the Champions live streams. Um, if, if, if you do, welcome to the family. Cheers, everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye.